Another big story we're following. No verdict yet in the trial of four men accused of plotting to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer. The jury was sent home a short time ago after deliberating all day. All four men are charged with conspiracy. 13 on your side's Joshua Vincent joining us live right now from downtown Grand Rapids. Josh, you have been in court since the beginning of all of this. Any sense of how close a verdict might be? Hey, good evening, Kirk and Juliet. Honestly, to answer that question, we simply do not know. We do know that the jury has been working quietly and very hard all throughout the day, and we didn't hear from them until around 3 p.m. when they asked the judge for a legal definition of the word weapon. Then the judge brought everyone back in the courtroom and heard from both sides and then ultimately decided to give them a clearer definition of that word from the Black Laws Dictionary. But take a look at your screen so you can really understand exactly what the jury is delivering. Let me show you three keys. First, Judge Yonker instructed the jury that Adam Fox, Barry Croft Jr., Daniel Harris, and Brandon Caserta can be found guilty of conspiracy even if it wasn't possible to pull off the kidnapping. Second, the jury must decide if there was a mutual understanding, either spoken or unspoken, between two or more people in the group. And third, they must also make a decision on that related weapon charges that Fox Croft and Harris face. Now, the prosecution, they say it's an open and shut case. They argue that the plot was ongoing for several months. U.S. Assistant Attorney um, Niles Kessler said in closing arguments on Friday, quote, you heard them in their own voices over and over again, talking about kidnapping her, murdering her, blowing up bridges and people and anybody who could get in their way. And it wasn't just talk. Now, on the other side, defense lawyers argued it was, in fact, just talk, adding it was the government informants and undercover agents who influenced their clients leading to entrapment. The jury uh, received instructions on entrapment as well. So again, the jury went home just a short time ago and will reconvene tomorrow at 830. I'll be here inside the Ford Federal Court building. And as soon as we get a verdict, we're going to bring you that live. So stick with 13 on your side. As for now, we're live outside the Ford Federal Court building this afternoon. Joshua Vincent, 13 on your side. Kirk and Juliet.